The front feet are columns of support. Horseback riding class at Pierce College in Los Angeles. You're going to do three things with your horse. You either encourage something to happen, or you discourage something from happening, but in either event, you release the pressure when it does happen. The Pierce College farm makes for a beautiful classroom, but it's a tough class. Just ask Claudia Kenny. A good rider makes it look real simple. <laughs> a lot simpler than it really is. Yes. <laughs> the 42-year-old took her very first horseback ride two years ago. Started with a trail ride up in the Santa Barbara area and absolutely loved it. It was one of those things you, uh, I always wanted to do. And so she enrolled in the equestrian program at Pierce. Students here have a lot to do before they ever get in the saddle. Wearing safety helmets, they'll first learn how to catch their horse in a corral, put on the halter, and learn the proper way to tie the animal up at a rail. Then they'll clean out the hooves, brush the coat, and lug over that heavy saddle. That was a workout, let me tell you. <laughs> and that's the simple part. If you're a weekend cowboy, you might think of horses as something like a four-legged motorcycle. Just jump on the back, step on the gas, and go. But these beautiful animals aren't robots, and there's a lot more to horses than you might think. A motorcycle doesn't have feelings, doesn't have heart, doesn't have sensitivity, doesn't have any of the good things that make a horse what it is. Rod Bergen is an accomplished instructor. His clients include the mounted officers of the L.A. County Sheriff's Department. The biggest misconception is that you kick them to go and you pull back to stop, and uh, that didn't work that way. Bergen teaches what he calls the Zen philosophy of riding. He says instead of using force and violence to control the animal, horse and rider should become one, like dancing partners. Well, same thing. I bring the energy up and my horse follows me. I take my energy down, he follows me on that. He should be listening to my body. We should be riding together. Horses are incredibly sensitive. Their every hair follicle has the same sensitivity as your fingertips. So when you think about where you want to go, the horse should automatically follow. Now, how does a horse know how to do that? Okay. He knows that because every time you do anything with your mind, your body follows. So right now I'm going to move my eyes to the right. My body, because of all the conditioning, is saying I may be going there. So a whole lot of what they call proprioceptive sensors in my body are setting themselves up to go that way. The horse feels that. It sounds so simple, but Claudia knows better. Is there a little more to this than you thought? Yes. <laughs> That's an understatement, <laughs> yes. The problem is that uh, when a person gets on a horse, the first thing that happens is they're afraid they might fall off. So they think the thing to do is to grab with their legs. Well, as soon as you put your leg on a horse, the horse thinks you want him to go. So now the horse starts to go, but you don't want him to go because you're getting concerned. So now you pull back. So we get what we call a, a wogo, okay? Horse says, go, whoa, go, whoa. Well, that's very confusing. You won't learn how to do this in a day, but you can learn, no matter how old you are. You know, they're kind of intimidating, and maybe I'm afraid to even try. What would you say to me? I'd say we'll put you on a nice, quiet horse, and we make you get your confidence up. And we let you understand that you do have the ability to interact. And as the class works on the finer points of getting into the saddle. Skip, skip, skip. Come up to this point here. Look straight ahead. And very quietly, sit down on your horse. Claudia says it's all been very worthwhile. It's harder than I thought it'd be. <laughs> it's definitely that. It's harder than I thought it'd be. Um, it's probably more enjoyable. Learning to ride is a challenge, but it's worth it. The old saying really is true. There's nothing for the inside of a man or a woman like the outside of a horse. And every week on today's Wild West, we'll explore some aspect of horsemanship as we learn to become one with these beautiful animals. Now, once you're on a horse, you probably want to stay there, or at least be the one who decides when you get off. But just ahead on today's Wild West, we'll meet a man who made a living out of falling off of horses, legendary Hollywood stuntman, Lauren Janes.